Or, okay, okay. Ah, it worked. Or, yep, that worked. All right, so howdy, D and D world. This is DM Grimm with another episode. Uh, after a long, long break, holidays and life. But here we go again. A uh, new campaign. Uh, hopefully list a little longer, and people take interest. Uh, let's see. So, the new game is the party is looking or hired for, uh, magic users. But the question is, are they all magic users? Or are they more of just a quick buck? That's what we had to find out in game. And, uh, so how the story plays out for the opening is, uh, the party started out in a town. And the town hired adventurers or people, uh, looking to make a name for themselves. Looking for a civilization that's been gone for some time. And it almost seemed like it's never been around at all. The history books have just almost exempted it. So, after some research and finding a... To, uh, what is it called? What do you call it? Uh, I don't know, a freaking statue. We're just going to call it a statue for now. Uh... They found a giant statue for one of the games, and one of the party members started a um, an oasis out in the middle of a desert. And uh, so they put that on a map. Then the party turned around for another one was... Uh, that, well, I guess we'll hold off on that part. So the game started with all the parties traveling through the desert, and they came across ghost on a scene where there was repeat of history over and over and over and over and over every night these ghosts do the same reenact reenactment and uh one of the players kind of made a mockery of the situation and well god not me the dice uh killed them for their uh, actions uh after which the party made it to an oasis and one of the party members found another party member, a small little fairy, out on the oasis in the water. And as they were approaching the civilization, they found a cyclops looking for help. But due to the lack of communication and the party's misunderstanding due to one party member was on one side of the map, the other party member was on the other side of the map. I thought that the other party member was going to get eaten. And, well, they killed the Cyclops. And now okay. that... That's the best option. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, with some back lore, now, uh, why don't we have the players introduce themselves on whatever happens tonight. And we'll start with my top to bottom, which will be Roko. I'm Roko. I'm playing a sniper who is actually looks like, uh, look, they look like an elf. And, they got, and they've got this very ornate looking sniper rifle and they're looking to make a quick buck like a, like a mercenary. As you do. <laughs> Alright. And then we have DC. Hi there. I am a bugbear monk. I punch go brrrr. Very Jojo. Very autistic. You would be proud. <laughs> Sounds like motorboating. But, uh, anyways. So, after the party, uh, would, uh, begin finishing the encounter, making it and finding this civilization of dwarves, uh, the person that hired them would pull the wagons and all the people that wanted to tag along to the side of the community as they were 
doing that, they would see all the damage and dead carcasses scattered across the sands and ashes of bones beneath their feet. <laughs> Roko. Uh, and then, uh, then the, uh, the person would say, single file line, single file line. Oh, we're gonna go on single file line. Um, yeah, yeah, well, I'm assuming you're gonna do, do is order to. Well, it doesn't mean you have to. Did, did they have guns drawn on us? It's not, no, there's no gun. Relcom's in. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass up the gun. Well, no, 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 the fairy, the fairy, also, or the, the, the rabbit person also has a gun. Right, that one, or the other one? No, no, the fairy has it. No, 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 not here right now. Mm -hmm. so, There's yeah. so many people with guns right now. Alright. Yeah. So, no, no one's technically aiming a gun at you. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're on, so we're getting off the ship? Well, it's uh, wagons that went through the desert. Running over dead bodies and burnt bodies and through the sand, you would make it at the gates, but the person. Is the wagon open? The wagon, yeah. It's open air, and what do, we, and do we like? Is it just a massive gate? Can we see into the city, or uh, is it like a giant walled city? Well, it was supposed to be completely walled here. Let me just move it here. So it's supposed to be, if I remember right. In, well, all the all the walls and the gates were intact, because uh, uh, Roko's character kept burning everybody alive, uh, but from another game, and so, uh, to to yeah, so it would be closed only at the moment, but then as they with the wagon would get closer, yeah, they would open it and and stuff, and you would also see a minotaur, uh, shaking. Some wagon wheels and a much bigger wagon than a normal wagon. More like a, uh, uh, we're gonna call it an RV, but in medieval times. Uh, uh, being inspected and stuff. Uh, doors would open, you'd see dwarves coming out, making sure, like, strangers, more strangers and more strangers just keep showing up because it's kind of out of the ordinary. Especially when no one's been here, now everyone's coming. I not I wouldn't necessarily know what a line was, uh, because of my bugbear heritage. I really wouldn't know much of human or even dwarvish culture because we're very xenophobic. So I'd probably just get out and kind of walk around the cart like I'm just surveying the place, not even minding whatever the whatever the uh, people are saying, get in line. Yeah. Like, I'm not being, a, I'm not, I don't have my arms up or anything, just more or less, I haven't been to a city before. Okay. So it's like looking up in awe. <laughs> uh, as for me, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, right foot over shoulder, keeping, keeping an eye out, making sure everything is all right, no problems. Paranoia over here. No, I've been cautious. Paranoia over here. I don't know if you clip fully on me the last time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cliff. Alright, so. Uh, you would be, um, well, for some of you, I don't know, I can't really say you specifically, but some of you might be impressed on the craftsmanship of the quality of the details made. Like, off in the distance, the doors on the inside, inside. No, oh, let me get out. Like, the doors would be uh, detailed craftsmanship of, like, two people, because they're ten feet. Uh, two people would be standing on each side, almost like uh, greeting their arms, but carved in, uh, carved in the, the likeness of the, the slabs of the doors. Uh, so they're not, like, completely standing out, but it's like... Uh, a popped out uh, a painting or some sort uh, and the walls and the craftsmanship you know, if anybody's interested in all that yeah it's all fancy fancy it is quite fancy 
uh, but uh, the person that brought y'all here would be uh, expecting the goods that he's got uh, brought here and like figuring out what he should be doing from this him would be trying to figure out make sure he has everything the rabbit has this freaking cyclops head like it ain't no big deal but a chicken wing uh it was dragged through the sand like eh. and uh they uh the guards would be impressed and be talking about that uh, that they got the other one they got the other one Oh, they're referring about the, uh, Cyclops. Uh. Is there anything y'all would like to do? Um. So, uh, the, the, the other gangs here are not looking at us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, what did they say? That they got the other one. Oh, this, this one, yeah. Oh. The rabbit. Remember? Oh, you? this one. Yeah. 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 They killed the Cyclops, yeah? You don't remember? Oh, yeah, it's real good. They killed the Cyclops with your character. Yeah. yeah. So, so the, so the, so the is telling this guy that he killed the Cyclops, yeah? Well, I, the I mean, would your, would that, would that rabbit tell them that it was them? Or would they just claim that they did it? Like, or keep it to themselves? Well, well, they, they wouldn't really care anyway. They just, they just say, oh, the Cyclops is dead on the road. <laughs> okay. The Cyclops is dead on the road. Yeah, technically. Yeah. Uh. true. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Uh, as, as for me, I'm going to kind of, you know, get ready to head inside. All right. Yeah. So as you would, you would, what about uh, DC? What would you be doing? Um... If nobody's gonna stop me, I'm probably just gonna like reach into my bag, pull out my uh, little rat friend, and set him down on the ground. Okay. Uh, and just like I'll look at, I'll like let him go into the city, so that way he can go explore and find himself a girlfriend. Okay. He's able to find me a lot easier, and he's smart enough to stay out of trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, before you would do that, imagine like a cat that went in uh, snow, and when you watch those cute cat videos, and every time when the cat goes in the snow, it just disappears, and they have to jump up to see where they're going, and then just keep jumping up, up and down, up and down through the sand until they make it more on the the harder sandstone. So the rat is. First, it sinks a little bit, jumps up in the air to get some distance and see where it's going. It goes back down in the sand, goes back, jumps up again. So it's like a like a kangaroo, but a rat. But you never seen those cat videos with the they go in the snow. Oh, so no. the rat jumps into the snow. It's like he can't maneuver, or he's smaller than the layer of snow. Well, it's sand, but I'm saying he sinks, sneaks in, like sinks. In the sand, but not like deep, deep, but just enough to annoy him because rats like their whiskers and they need to make sure they fit in objects like cats do. That's, that's fair. Well, he can be annoyed. Yeah. The snow doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was just trying to give you some random detail. Um, yeah. No, it's good. Um, But then I would start, I'd probably walk over to the. Uh, I'd probably walk over to the Cyclops corpse just to examine it better. Would be the head, but yeah. The head? Yeah. yeah. You know it is, oh. it's a male figure. And uh, off in the distance, echoing through the mountain, you would hear war drums playing. Do, 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 do. As you would get closer towards yours, y'all's direction. And then they would be oh. announcing the, the queen is on her way. Okay. Um. Can I put together that they're war drums? Do you want me to make any kind of roll for that? I mean, if you want to, I mean. Well, are you, or could I put two and two together that they're war drums? 
Let me put it like this. The last time I tried doing war drums in the Dorbin campaign, everyone automatically assumed it was some they were going to war. So I mean I I would assume that because I don't know what war drums I don't know that culture. <laughs> exactly. So I mean unless you want me to have like a history check, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail it, but I will gladly do it for you. <laughs> I'm just saying this is what happens in past experience. It didn't matter how many times I kept telling them. Don't worry about it. They're like, no, we're going to war. We know who you are I'm as a DM. The war drum. Yeah. Traditionally, uh, bugbear. I'm probably going to run over to the corpse of the Cyclops. Yeah. Not even think, like, second guessing and, like, because it's, it's another giant race, so I'm just going to, like, try to hide my best around it. Like, <laughs> position myself so that way I'm behind, like, a body okay you know my like three-fourths cover best way i can uh -huh. in the opposite direction of which i hear the uh i got you so you'd see per you'd be good where you're at because it'd be um, like war drums even, oh shoot i'll say i'll even more mutter to myself and giant uh or no i actually no do i know giant yeah i think i do yes i mutter to myself as like so, brother, it is another human settlement that hunts that hunts us uh, giants. You will be avenged. Oh, I snap. promise this. Uh, that sucks for the party. As I reach up and like use my use my longer reach to like close his eyes or his eye. <laughs> his eye, his eye that got a, a uh, an arrow sticking out of it like a toothpick. <laughs> Uh, right, well, uh, they put, they, they, might, they might have a good reason to kill the, to kill the Cyclops, though, so don't be, don't be so self-righteous just yet, yeah? <laughs> hey, in, in the Ordning, which is giant culture, uh, bugbears are near the bottom with goblins. Huh. So, so it makes sense that I would hold Cyclops somewhat in reverence. Wait, wait, goblins, goblins come as giants? Uh... I think gob maybe I don't know I might be wrong. I, I said in his I, universe. I'll in his universe. Yes, I guess I guess I might. I'll double check so that way I'm not just no. telling these kids that are listening to this podcast something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, in all right. his universe, nah, it's all good. All right, yeah, so don't so be so self righteous. The might the might the might not something something wrong with the arrow in the eye. Let's see what falls under giant kin. Because I know that Goliaths do. Yeah. Herbals. Oh. Playable, right? I might be way off then. Never mind. <laughs> so, um. So, Mr. Dwarf, are you going to let us in or, in or what? Well, as you would, uh. Well, I guess you. Are you going first then to the subcultation door? Oh no, I was, I was waiting for, for the bunny lady and Panda going first before us, but... Well, yeah. that mean, you can go, so... I mean, everyone can go in and that's what you're trying to do, that's what I'm saying. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, guess I'll, I guess I'll head in first and look around. Oh, for first volunteer. Oh no, ladies first. No, 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 first volunteer. First volunteer. Ah, no, uh, no. Uh, no, it's not good. So as you would uh, begin to go in, you would hear the drums get louder and louder and louder. And then you just see this, I guess to you, it would be a man. So you would see this man walk up to you. But then you look down and you can tell by the eyes that it's a woman, but with a beard. Ah. Uh, well, uh, hello there. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs... Then you would look around and see that it, uh, stern storm door, storm storm door. Storm what? Star. How do you say that again? Stern the cat the clan's name on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> stern door, Copenhagen. Yeah, stern door. There you go. <laughs> Tell me, right? Uh, pleasure, uh, pleasure to meet you. Me, me, and my associates are travelers from across the sands. Uh, as as you as you noticed, uh, there's there's a dead there's a dead uh, cyclops in the road. Um, just just be careful of those, you know, monsters you see. Yeah, 
on the road. And she would announce. And we have another giant slayer in our midst. We'll have to throw, to throw a celebration for him. Yeah, it will be appreciated. Uh, uh, hope uh, maybe maybe you can get seated as well. And I'll not stand outside the gate, staying inside. Yeah. 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 It would tell y'all y'all are welcome to come in. The one condition is you are not allowed to uh, take a permanent residence. And she would point from one side of the wall to the other side. You cannot take a permanent residence here, but you could take it outside of the wall. It's like if you, I see. It, so if you retire, you're not allowed to retire in here. Just out here. No problem. I don't plan to retire anyway. <laughs> No problem. I don't feel like retiring. Yeah, yeah. Well, my associates, maybe you should uh, head inside and get, get get some drinks. Yeah. Ah, uh, so they would uh, begin going inside, or you would, and yeah. and the rabbit person would be little hoppies, and hoppies. little hoppies. <laughs> that one uh -huh. would follow through, and. Cause I get, well, you're the one standing still, so they just walk past you. And you just keep, as you, as you would walk through the gate, you would just keep seeing the Minotaur, uh, shaking the wagon and making sure it's still sturdy. <laughs> Alright, I guess he's shaking the wagon then. Yeah. That's, that's an odd term for it. Alright, um, get him inside, get seated, get warmed up, maybe something to eat. I'm, I'm a little hungry, to be honest. Alright. So, hold on, let me turn off, turn off, and I can't remember, but we'll just say that, uh, Gra, we, we, we've been sitting outside all day, Gra, we'll say, <laughs> oh, do our characters know each other prior to well, oh. Well, I'll, well, I'll, I'll assume we'll be talking together, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, for the last, uh, I guess, week or two, y'all would be watching, uh, watching gods interfere in striking players into the sand and resurrecting them as a ghost and a revenant. You would recognize sandstorms that y'all had to hold on for dear life and not get blown away. And you would recognize uh, the Cyclops being murdered and a player being picked up i mean yeah i mean you might you, even if you didn't talk to each other y'all glanced at least once in the wagon train adventure adventure no yeah. is your call do you, do you wish to be known or what i mean i didn't have a problem getting known i just that that's what i was doing with like session zero last week was figuring out if we know each other prior yeah, all right, very well. Or like if we had, like, she sat down and had a conversation. Uh, well, but if we know each other, I'll probably poke my, I'll poke my head up from the other side of the, of the Cyclops. No. And like, but what of war drums? We must stay ready. If you stay yeah, ready, but, you, got, you ain't got to get ready. That, yeah, but they're, they're walking, they're walking, uh, they're walking with us inside because we, because this, the Cyclops is, was slain by someone, right? The are walking with us inside. Like a big celebration the, the uh the bearded lady would step her head just through the wall and say it is the announcement of me being announced to my people that I'm on the move. They have it, right? Okay, so she's gonna explain what the nature of the war drums were. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, it, besides, if if it would hurt us, would they would they have tried to already, right? Would they? All right. Uh, once it is explained to me, I will step out, walk up to the queen, uh, and question, and just like look at her pondering. So why is it that you bang war drums to announce your arrival? 
do you wish to instill fear in your subjects so that way uh, they serve you better? It's celebration. Yes, war is quite celebration. As we, like, I'm gonna, like, try to, like, talk and walk. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh yes, God. combat is to be celebrated. It is a noble, it is a noble deed. Uh -huh. But I tend to find leadership is done best whenever your citizens are not afraid of you. Oh my goodness gracious, you're one of those people. This is our way of celebrating. Others may play the, the flute. Others may play... I'm just going to say the violin. We play the drums. Ah, uh, very well. But it must be but it must be known that to the goblinoids and the uh and the giants that drums can be quite antagonizing. Mm. But it is an interesting cultural exchange nonetheless. Well, if you don't hear our sound of our beat, then it more than likely is war either amongst the the doggy people, or those green, spike teeth people. The gnolls and the orcs. Yes, those green people. If you don't hear our beats, you know, I don't know, do do, and you hear blah, 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 then maybe it's not, <laughs> then it's not us. I don't know. Uh, but as soon as we are inside the city, I'll probably just be like ooing and awing at all the different structures so I was getting way, way too close to certain fi to people's like comfort zones because I'm just if they're all dwarves they're all tiny <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you would notice the tower the tower 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 good so we got that out of the way tower. and then you would notice bigger buildings smaller buildings uh Bigger buildings, but people are going in and out of them, so you can, you you could be pretty confident they're not really for living, but more of supplies. Uh, y'all would make it through. I'm just going. I wish there's a way to drag y'all faster. You can. Can't you highlight and? Nah. Stop it though. So y'all would begin to make it down the way it goes upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, through a door, through another door. Uh, then it would become a way of a four-way open hallway. Or I guess it's four. Technically three, I guess. Uh, and then you would notice a halfling in the corner. Because you're the one who stated you're looking around and everything. So you would notice a halfling rocking himself in the corner. Just nervous. And you would... <laughs> weird. Uh, you would notice a... Uh, bearded man. With gold on his uh, beard. <laughs> He's just throwing up everywhere. In the corner. Uh, and you would, uh, notice the fellow with the scar that he has a dangling head that as big as him, I guess. I guess it would be just as big as him. Uh, also a cyclops, but with long hair. Okay, so cyclops are intermingled with the other humanoid races? No, no. I'm saying he cut her head off oh. and he prayed oh. like a trophy. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'll make a note to. I'm gonna reach through. I'm, I want to go over to the guy that's throwing up everywhere <laughs> and uh, muddle through my bag to see if I can find some kind of like herb or something to settle his stomach. As you uh, well, as you would get closer, you would just smell the alcohol on him. Jesus, they move these characters around. Uh, uh, walking up to this guy, I'll boisterously laugh. <laughs> Rhonda, if you drink like a champion, you must be able to handle your booze. Or if you fight like a champion, you must be able to drink like one. And attempt and hand them some like ginger or something like earthy root. Chew on this. It shall ease your it shall ease your weak stomach. Let me see something. Ah, no, I don't want it. 
Uh, so as he would turn his head, you're just watching the vomit miss you. Ugh. Dodging out of the way. <laughs> Even if I gotta make a save, evasion, yeah, let's go. Uh, he would uh, thank you and tell uh, him that the memories, the memories. I'm trying to get rid of the memories. And he just put the, the bottle of ginger down and go right back to drinking alcohol. Oh, now I could be invested. Oh, well. <laughs> he's, he's, he's hopeless, but look at him. He's a, he's a sniveling, vomiting mess. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's go and receive a warm welcome, shall we? I would much prefer that. Um, well, oh. oh, I do have that liquor. All right. So as you would start making it through, then you would see a, uh, yeah, red, a red humanoid creature with a tail, with a tail and wings and horns and nice. boobs, and boobs, so we know the difference, uh, uh, with a gun, uh, telling you that we, uh, and she would point to the alcoholic and point to the halfling. Uh, came from a very unique situation. So don't mind, don't mind them. And uh, after boistering, laughing again. <laughs> I really don't care. I just didn't want him throwing up in front of the queen. Smiling and then turning around and walking away. He's the town alcoholic, <laughs> as she says, as you walk away. <laughs> the town drug. Well, uh, that that's such a suck for him, you know. Uh, yeah. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. So um. Right. Yes, Rocco. What do you want to say? Well, yeah, I'm I'm saying for him it sucks to suck. Yeah. What is the queen? What? Why are we meeting them? I'm just gonna say in that room for now. Okay, no, no, no. Just be in this room. Yeah. Alright, so as you would, you would see a council of dwarves along the wall. I cannot keep putting more pictures on there, or I will run out of room. But you would see a council of dwarves inside, and inside this room, and the queen. And. They would uh, say that we, s that when y'all came through, we saw that one of y'all uh, was a giant slayer. Uh, and in three days' time, we shall throw a celebration for your honor. And as for y'all, uh, where have y'all come from? He's talking to you two and... And the shady dude. Where did uh, y'all come in? Y'all three. Okay. All right. So the deal. So they're gonna throw a celebration for us. We could be we, we arrived, yeah. That's, that's just a bit. Yeah. Well, technically, right. yes. It's for y'all. Yes. Just yeah. But. She will be the only one getting the the reward, which is not really a reward, but it's a reward for them and their culture. Y'all okay. just, just get a party until if y'all choose to go to the party. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Might as well stock up on rations and all that while we're here. Don't want to starve and down the road. That's true. Starve. All right. So no real. So the the man and the hood would lift his hood, and say we came from a far away human community. I just move you there, you there. We came from a human community, and we thought it was a rumor that to see such 
magnificent creatures from far. And we were hoping. And then he would look back and go, never mind, not we. Me was hoping that I can settle a community here. And discuss other trade arrangements between the human zones. And then he would leave it paused like once them the answer. And then one of the council members would say dwarves. And then the, the hooded figure would say yes, yes, dwarves, dwarves. That's what y'all are. Scratching his head, still not understanding. Like, it's been so long of a rumor that it's hard to believe. Kind of remark in his mind. Anyway, look at y'all two. And why well, does it be y'all three? Maybe all three. Three. I mean y'all three. Uh it would each hand y'all a couple gold coins and say thank you for accompanying me to this long far adventure. It may not seem much, but it means a lot to me to get here. And if y'all would Consider working me, uh, working for me further. I will be out there looking for the best place to settle. And he would slowly walk. No comments. No comment. No, right. yeah, don't mind working. You know, so you stop him? Not really. No. Well, then okay. <laughs> I'm just making oh, sure. What? Oh, yeah, but I mean, I'm just making sure. I don't want to be like rude and then be like, well, I wanted to ask him questions. So that's why I'm like stating he's walking to give you opportunity to catch up to him. But if y'all are good, then y'all are good. Alrighty. So. Then they would look at you. And listen to what y'all have to say. Making sure y'all have nothing to say. Uh, okay. So then the redded skin figure would step through and state that they are. There was a group of, of uh, adventurers, which obviously would perk y'all's ears, and that we came from a faraway land. Once there was trees, then there was an, a body of water, and then there was these giant things with teeth as long as me, and their bodies almost touched the skies. The trees... What? Rocco? It sounds horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry. The trees would blanket the sky and make it so dark. That only you can't even see in front of you. Of it, but the dwarfs and all they say she can because of the dark vision, but normal people. Anyways, uh, Dale, we found this one unique creature. It was a turtle, but not any turtle. This turtle spoke and helped us. And it was even more stranger that they would actually talk to these creatures. That would touch the skies. As if it was his best friend. Until we came across. And then the queen put her hand up. Yes, we know. We sent him. And then. Referring about him. So I got something back. And. We were given a great vision that y'all. Needed a way back home. And we sent them there. It would help us greatly having more adventurers. But due to... We've already took care of the problem. Eh. It happens. But... The situation got taken care of and now... Everyone is here. Then the... Uh, tiefling creature... Red, the red creature would... Curtsy... And then begin walking out the door. You have, you have an idea what, what kind of uh, species that there was, Grant? 
uh, you turn back around, and they go, it was almost as if it was dragons, but oh. with no brains. They can simply, <laughs> they, can, they can simply clap your hands and they would run away. But some of them, some of them were different. Some of them would come back, but when they came back, their numbers kept growing. And again, if you made a loud noise, and they ran away. But again, they would show a bit more. So eventually, we just started shooting them for sport. Well, fair enough. Shoot them for sport. <laughs> sport is fun. Yeah. You know, what are you, target practice is especially fun. You know, especially when you're learning how to, how to fire one. Yeah. <laughs> that joke is sport, because Roko always says that. In the dino game, ah, let's just kill them for sport. <laughs> that's why. Uh, I, I did say that. I didn't say that. Exactly. That's, so that's <laughs> that's why I'm using that line. But, uh, so yes, uh, so it's pretty much a dragon, but it wasn't a dragon. It had, it didn't have a brain, and you can scare them by making loud noise. Whoa. I'll keep, keep in mind, I'll keep, keep in mind in case we come across any, any brainless creatures. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Maybe she begins to chuckle. Like, uh, she chuckles because the Minotaur is kicking the wheel. So. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, Alright. Alright, do you have anything, do you have anything else to ask? Not really. Uh, it's, it's all on the agenda for me. Alright. So, do you wish for us to hunt these creatures down, or...? Oh, you're asking... What you're asking the, to hunt the mindless creatures? Or you ask... Or, I do apologize if I seem to have drifted off, but I do not understand why is that we have been called to this council meeting. Yeah, I was well, sure. The reason why y'all... Well, the, y'all just kept following, and then... Roko said he wanted to go meet people, so that's why it was. Yeah. You blame Roko. Well, I'm asking in character. Like, no, I know. I'm you, just... you allowed us to come into this meeting. Yeah. Were y'all just here to. Or are you just sharing stories between each other? Well, you have to ask uh, Roko. You guys to be talking to you, class. Yeah. Um, well, I, 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 want to, I want to be more associates. I can I can talk to you and ask for jobs later, later, later down the line. That's the plan, anyway. So, so when, so when they got work for us, or if they got an issue with, I don't know, dope people again, we can we, we can drop by and dome them and get money for it. Right? We could walk by and dome them. That is an option. And then the, yeah. the other question was that everyone's just giving, because she's the queen, and obviously she needs to know all the rumors, truth or lie. Uh, and so everyone is... Taking the advantage right now to talk to her on giving an update. Yeah. And y'all were just there on a coincidence because it's technically quotations. There would be no meeting for y'all. But you, but you allowed a, you allowed strangers to come into this delicate meeting. Wait, are you li- are you questioning that in game? <laughs> yes, you just you just allow random. Adventurers to come in here to this to this meeting. Oh my gosh! So you want to make the game even harder? Yes, please go on. No, I, I no, no, I no, not. no. She she leans forward. Tell me, what do you mean? Is this meet? Was this meeting not a council between you and your <laughs> allies, or? What was the purpose of this meeting? If if just random adventurers could come in here. But they're not random adventurers that came in here. I'm brand new. I do not know what you're thinking of. I just came off the streets. I do not know any of you. Rocco, you just allowed me to come in here and, and discuss war efforts. Rocco, do you agree with him? In the surrounding village. Ro- Ro- well, you can't. You can't fall back in the streets. There's no big difference there. But Rocco, do you do you agree with his actions? 
I, I, I said it in character. Came from wagon, not on the streets. <laughs> Our okay, dokie. Oh. So you say careful, we're not on the streets. What? So, 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 a wagon, uh, a traveler's come in. It makes sense. It makes sense for the queen to talk to the, talk to potential, you know, courtiers or merchants or basically, basically people she wants to meet if the travelers, right? Even if you're open for. Well, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. In my opinion. So she would say, guards, guards, intruders, intruders. Oh, <laughs> That's why I asked, do you agree, Roko, with his action? Well, I, I, never, I never said I agree. I said, I said he moved back in. Uh-huh, exactly. You didn't say no. What does he I do not mean? understand why you would call the guards at this point. <laughs> we, have already, we have already come in. We have already heard the issue. Why, would we, why wouldn't we escape from prison and then tell the masses? They would panic as they are great threats out there. I'm sure they are being on that they are not being informed properly about. I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out obvious defenses in you in your in your own kingdom. It's like I am. I am not some madman that has come to threaten you. But the sheer fact of the matter is, you do not. You do not know me like that. All right. <laughs> then roll the person. Is that, not, is that an not fair concern to? To voice then as we walk in. Roll a persuasion. <laughs> yes, a persuasion. Well, I mean, I, I'm only saying because he's trying to say he's not hostile and stuff. But I'm just saying. Uh, can I help him, Grim? No, Roko. You, you're the one who does. First, I said, Do you agree? Then you're trying to say no. And now you're saying, Can I help him? Well, make hey, a. Can my, can my sidekick give me the help action? Uh, just roll. You got this. It's not. You're, it's an NPC that doesn't get experience. My my sidekick, my poor just, kitty. Just roll if you fail. I got, I have an idea even if you fail, so it's okay. Oh boy. Well, there's still it's one. It's rolling. I don't know why it's not rolling. Oh, it's th- literally sitting there. Why? My why? Why is the internet doing this? Did the pop break? There you go. Aha. Okay. So. Okay. Just uh, waiting on it. I got it. I got it. So. Let me roll two things. Oh boy! I know. I cousin, have cousin, cousin, my tribe. <laughs> I have to go. R, R. Oh yeah. R R two. Because in my tribe, they sought counsel from me because I could point out obvious weaknesses. This is something to be noted, especially in science. All right. Maybe you should, maybe you should like that. Um, so this is what. You should that question. So this is what happens because you failed, but uh, the queen got, a, we're going to say it well. And uh, so then the person with the cyclops head, because they're the only one left in the room, and says, she vouches for y'all and say that y'all are with her. That it, it's not such a, like she's trying to ease the situation. Because technically yeah. y'all were with her, y'all just didn't fight the encounters they fought. Yeah, we were just watching from the, from the bike. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so yeah. she states that if if this uh if it is such a burden, I will offer my title of Giant Slayer and forfeit it just to ease the situation. Really? They get, they, they get so antsy about Two people who are associated to a rabbit in, in this room. Well, the rabbit uh, was considered a hero, and they're offering a, to still be just a hero and not a hero with a title. Well, you had a rabbit. So what do you, do you see? Do you, what do you do? You have to say anything like after the rabbit's trying to stick up for you? Oh, I wasn't under. I'm under the assumption that I. have that I'm doing nothing wrong. Are they like pointing swords at me and calling the guards, or are they just like talking amongst themselves? Well, right now I wanted to see what you were gonna do. Is I'll let oh, you no, know. I'm just, I'm I'll... just literally standing there, like just rambling, pointing out other flaws. <laughs> oh my gosh! I get maybe, it. I should be at this critical. All right, then let me see something. Maybe we should ask them before people pointing out flaws in this in the in the, in the palace. Yeah, it's kind of rude. So. Let me see if this will work. Please, it'll work. 
Okay, so as you keep rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling on all the flaws, the rabbit just takes her ear and covers your mouth. <laughs> uh, like, no. Just, just, you talk too much. A 19, and let's have to give you the modifier. JC. What? Uh, did you want to say that? The rabbit? Someone. The rabbit takes her ear and covers your mouth. And I then. Mean, I'm still going to be talking with it covered. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's just muffled, muffled with softness. No. You get a. Anyway, anyway, madam. Uh, do you have any do you have any work for us to do? Well, at the moment, it would be setting up for the celebration. Mm -hmm. Unless there's any other due calls. I've got you. Uh, I've got you have a problem or like a like a monster problem or uh, what's the deal with? It? Well, the monster problem was already taken care of that we know of. Some of the creatures did go scattered through the wind. Uh, but good luck following a trail through sand. As the one wind would just make it go away. Huh. Okay. And, no problem. No problem. And then, uh, well, the problem was you were supposed to talk to the red person. But, uh. We don't see color in this household. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. So, technically, right now, there's no problem that has arose, that all problems have been solved. One with the drunken man bringing an adventure party here. The other problem of, uh, what is it? The other dwarfs making it back from another civilization. And then fighting the war. So right now there is no problem. It tells you. But do you, uh, Balin, would you, I guess the question is, if a problem were to occur, would you like to be told about it to take action and defend us well uh, as as we're as, 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 as we're compensated for accordingly i wouldn't mind doing that would you would you mind Gra? i have i have no problem in assisting with things Perfect. I, it's like still pointing around like pointing out cracks in the ceiling <laughs> here if you wish for me <laughs> I do not mind going around and helping sell, helping fortify this for a proper celebration. Oh yes. My. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Check something real quick. Get this out of the way. Oh crap. She does. Oh, snap of doodles. Alright. Oh, snicker doodles. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was hoping it was going to be the other way around, but it's alright. So, the one of the, 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 uh, guards would take the head from the uh, rabbit and then uh, place it in the feet of the queen. Roko, your character lost the title of Giant Slayer. It's all good. Still get a party, though. Yeah. If I say Roko a lot, it's because that's Roko's character. His second character. Okay. So yeah, so what would y'all do after being told there is nothing to do but get drunk and party? Party. Yeah, let's give, let's give this party. I'd probably get drunk and party as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I call, I call me to get drunk because, you know, but uh, I'll, I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> so y'all leave the room? Yeah, we'll go. Really, really. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So, do you do anything with the people out back in the hall or in the next room over? Yeah, yeah. Really, they're not, they're not that significant, are they? We just, we, you know, we just fuck off. Oh, who's this guy? Astroth Nakamore. Oh, who? Oh, the drunken alcoholic. Yeah, who, who, who's that guy? Are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking uh, who, who, who is a white person. So, the red person would over here and say that 
He is an older gentleman that was captured by orcs. And oh, yeah. then captured by snake people. Which turned yeah. around and got rescued by the gentleman with the scar on his face. But it turned out the one that's throwing up everywhere is the last king and the true king of all of the Dorban communities. Huh. But he well, the true king pukes. Right. And the alcoholic king, yes. But, I still really can noise that. <laughs> uh but the gentleman with the scar slaughtered all of his community or their community. He slaughtered them all due to going madness. Uh huh. And so how can he be a king if there's no subjects? Yeah, that, that's pretty suck. Uh, but since he, since he has no subjects, I, when, that's not really a problem anymore. Or not really a problem overall, to be frank. Maybe so, but he, until the day he dies, or until a new ruler steps gets uh, voted in, he is a king with no land per se. Yeah, a girl, a girl with no name. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, yes, he rules over this community, but two king, like a king and a queen both voting over the same subjects is not fair. Like, So he should be taking, taking on a nutstone, yeah? Because he's clearly incompetent. And not no. fit to rule, he was puking and shitting everywhere <laughs> like he's right now. Uh, they're funny. But. Funny looking. He, uh, he <laughs> used to survive in the wasteland out there. So if you ever need to figure situations out, he's the only one that travels beyond the three spires. Ones. The three spires, like Mountain 1, Mountain 2, Mountain oh, 3. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Everybody else just stays in the mountain. If there were to be trade, the trade would come here. But the trade was no more until, I guess, today. Yeah. Yeah, because no one, no one could the trip, trip to the desert. So, yeah. Only mad people. And fools. Oh, well, we survived it, so we're not mad or fools. Right? You have to be one or the other, don't you? Well. I don't have to be a fool. Exactly. Alright, so you're mad. It's it's like, it's an extreme of money and economy. Really benefit this place. I mean, there's Uh, there's crutch involved. I guess in due time, we'll figure out which one you are, or maybe a new one entirely. You know, instead of a mad fool, maybe there's happiness. I don't know. Treasure hunters, whatever. Yeah. You have any other questions? All right. Uh, so is it really? Is it really? Do you, do you really work for us? Maybe some of you want to deal yeah. with? Sort of? Ah, thank yeah. goodness, the burden. The burden, uh, finally, the one question is finally asked. Yeah. So, oh, look what it's like then. Yeah. You would, the red, uh, she would wrap her arm around you if you let it. I mean, you wouldn't mind, but. Mm. <laughs> so she, she wraps her arm and then her wing around you and says, You see yeah. that one in the corner? The one, this one, yeah? Yes. She says, You have. We had to find a way to send him back home. He's not a, among our kind. He comes from a different universe or new something or another. Well, I got I got no ideas about sending people across across uh, countries instantly. So, well, that's your quest to send him home. Send send the tiny boy home. Okay. Well, I I guess you can tie along for now. Would you mind, Gra, if you take along with us? 
I suppose it is. He is better. He is safer with us than yeah, rather yeah. than being alone. Hey, hey, short stack. You got any uh, skills? You need any uh, skills? Any weapons? Uh, any proficiencies? No. Uh, she would look at you and hand you her gun, and say that he's very good at making things, but at the moment he's uh, scarred. Well, don't worry. You'll be you'll be fairly safe with with me and my friend Gra here, as long as as long as you know, uh, keep up your keep up your end of the deal. And... What end of the deal? There is what deal? Well, well, basically, come come with us, and we'll try and get you home. And in the meantime, take care of us. Yeah. The red lady would tell you that you saw the wagon outside. He's actually the oh, one yeah, that but... crafted it. Oh, you crafted the wagon. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, f- I thought it'd be very useful to help to helping to helping me and grow along with entrepreneur entrepreneurial uh, uh, adventures. Okay. So, yeah, take along. I will protect. We'll protect you, and we'll try to get you home. Okay. So uh, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of what we're going to give you uh, in return. We might send you home, or try to send you home. Might. <laughs> whoa, 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 might. Oh, no, 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 I heard you. Wait, and you no, don't no, tell no. them that. You said it. Might. Because I was going to say roll with advantage, but now just roll. Persuasion. Persuasion yeah. yeah. Just... But now it's just flat because you use the word might. <laughs> no, 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 no. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, I'm in bad today. Fuck you, know. Ah, so, huh. the question is, Mr. DC, what is your... Do you, if you want him to go with you, what do you, what do you want to tell them? I would have just said he is better safe with us than uh, by himself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, like, reached out or anything to him. All right, so but he, if I if I saw him act on something, we'll just roll. Then I might be forced to uh, retaliate. I got you. Well, then roll persuasion. Oh my goodness, you just got to beat the fifteen. Come on, come on, DC, do this. Persuade is us. Awesome. Persuade is us. Persuasion. persuasion. Pick up the toddler and run off with it. No. Ah! Oh, baby! Oh, those well, long hairy arms. That's what it is. It was those long hairy arms. I'm warm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you would see him slowly lifting his head up, and then you would see a little turtle. He's turtle heading a bit. No, an actual oh, turtle. He got a turtle. He got a little turtle. You know, you have a rat, and he's got a turtle. That's cute. Uh-huh. All right. So, he would slowly dust himself off, wipe away his tears, and try to do the best he can on keeping a straight face. Every so often, twitching and looking back. All right. So, we got we, we got a qu- some more quest, and we're going to... Uh... Try and try and get this poor little boy home. Poor little boy, is that a boy? Well, well he's, he's, he's about a man. He's about, about as poor as a boy. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go put him over there real quick. So. Oh, by the wagon. Right. All right. We got somewhat of a goal or an idea yeah. to come across. Yeah, and and I'll you know a phys- some uh, some actual job. Um, so now you want to go talk to the guy that offered you a job? Uh, that was the that was the guy in the red, right? Mm, yeah, over here outside. Okay. Well, yeah, he, 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 he offers a job. Do you want to go talk to him? Come on. We can go talk to him if he has the, if he has good work for us. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see we'll see how good work is, right? He's about to talk to him first. <laughs> who, who knows if it's good until you know. Do you ask? Exactly. I was just going to say hi to that guy then. 
walks over to say hi to that guy. <laughs> hi, guy. Oh. Hi, guy. Oh, my God. Hi. All right. Actually, this one needs to go, too. All right. So, as he would be unloading the wagons a little by little, uh, one thing, side note, I have to figure out how much each player gets paid for the adventure. So, just know it's a couple gold pieces per player. But I have to get the exact number. Uh, partly because if more people would have played, then it would have been less gold in your pocket. So, that's what I'm saying, I don't know. No, what did he join in? What the fuck? He just joined and left. I don't know, text him and ask him. Uh... Anyways, uh, so we would be, as y'all would walk up, they would be handing each one of y'all some gold in separate pouches. Well, three of y'all. What? Gold, Can you shoot it? gold, gold. And then, he would, um, then turn his back. Going back to unloading his stuff. What do you do when he turns back? Slowly unloading. Mm. Oh, well, I'll ask him what kind, of, what kind of job he did you have. Do you have in mind for us then? His, his ears perk up and he walks slowly to you. Oh, you are here for another job, I see. Yeah, so what? what is it? I, I'm, I'm all ears, you know. A bit, that was ears. <laughs> my true job. Wasn't to trade, but to gather. Are you intrigued? Gather. Gather. Uh, Cricket. We'll say precious living cargo. Uh huh. All right. I I don't mind a bit of human trafficking. So um, he just puts his hand over his lips. Shh. Wow. Well, okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, what 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 are the details? What's the situation? Elaborate. People that are gifted with unique abilities. I'll bring them mm -hmm. here for money, but not dead. Cause how will we know if they truly are gifted? Well, I I guess you could revive them. All right. Are you really gonna say that? Oh no, I'm, I'm saying, saying, saying it kind of, kind of sarcastically. Uh, how then? Yeah. How would you, how would you roll then? So oh, sarcasm. Yes, how would you roll sarcasm? Fucking... Deception? Sarcastically? Do you want to do Yeah, 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 yeah I'm, I'm sarcastically saying, but we'll fucking revive them then. No, I know, I uh, know, but there's a, there's a reason why. So, we'll say deception. Okay, this is more flavor sake. Um, like, I guess. Wow, I'm going to read about today. What the fuck? I'll say it out again. So, the general idea on this. God damn it. He was, if he would have passed, Roko would have been suspicious of being a magic user. That's why I was asking. So, if, uh, I, if I ask a roll, uh, ask for a roll. It, why, why, what would it do? What would it do? Because. And he said revive. And, Who would know that? Who would know revive unless somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah but the, the, the concept of being told back from the dead isn't is not, you know, is not. I mean, you say that, but that's not supposed to be yeah. done in this time era. Is there? Yeah, no, it's not. It's not, it's not. That's my sarcasm. That's why he's joking. I know <laughs> that, and for to make a joke, they might take it serious. Well, that's why it's insight. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So that so that's just one thing I do DC is if you make a remark, I wanna see how intimidating or persuasion or deception you are. Just so it gives me an idea of how serious the person you're talking to is. Like paying attention. It it's more background, more not you're not supposed to focus on the roles or the role, it's just supposed to give me something to how do I want to change my character or my NPC's uh, yeah, uh, mind? Who does say that? I fucking god awful. What did you say? 
Well, well, he doesn't look at you like gr yeah. greedy eyes now. But uh, they would say that that there's rumors that strange things occur out here, and uh -huh. that why not make a quick buck off of it? Well, I'm I'm a stranger to 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 human trafficking, so human trafficking. Use a different word. Okay, my bad. Exchange of cargo. My uh, bad. No, I meant not using the word, but more like the word like medieval, like cargo um, or slavery. Or... Slavery. Oh, yeah, same, same word. Yeah, yeah, slavery. Man. Medieval, medieval. So yeah. Uh, when you say when you say uh, special talents, do you mean like uh, ears that can be used as hands <laughs> to cover one's mouth? I do not understand what the parameters of special are. Uh, yeah, actually, he's right. D d define special because anyone can be special in, uh, in the open card, right? He's like, oh my gosh, I wasn't supposed to say it. Okay. No, no, no. So, I'll give. So, the man that tempted the gods' fates turned around and kept blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. And then he just came resurrected after he died. That was not normal, was it? Well, yeah, but maybe the gods. Because he was blabbing so much of them. Oh, maybe. What if, what, if a, what? what if a god saw his blight and saw as one god smited him, the other one resurrected him? Yeah, you know, a bit, a, a bit of good empathy, right? What, what do you mean by special people? Oh, I give people that it shouldn't happen to. It, like, uh -huh. y'all say gods. I say maybe a magic. Magic, right, right. I've, uh, what was the side for? Okay, well, in, in that case, what what do you recommend we start looking around for magic? Magic. Then? Well, there was a rumor that there was a well, I guess I guess what was that? a sage, a sage was traveling with those dwarves, and. uh he died. Maybe there'll be some clues on on his uh, body. Huh. Well, in that case, let's, uh, let's go ask around that corpse then. Shall we, shall we folks? Well, you're talking, to, you're talking to him, right? Or DC, not me. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of dressing up as a general. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So, with no. Uh, with no objections, I, I guess we get on to starting this uh, trail of magic crumbs. <laughs> <Get up>. Magic, <laughs> magic crumbs. So are you going to go straight? Or is he going to go back into town and ask who can take them? Take you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I, was specific, I was specifically looking for Garfield's character. We see he's around. Garfield's character is at the uh, temple. Oh, fine, true, true. No, no, but well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ask around a bit. Off in the area. For what? Uh, for a way there? The area. Yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. Well, and then you would remember the red person told you the alcoholic. So you would be looking for the alcoholic. Alcoholic? Oh. Alcoholic? I barely know him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, I. I just. I'll let's talk to the alcoholic that, you know, see see details of the location where the, where the sage died, and then see if we can pick up the corpse. You know, take, take a look at it, you know? Alright. So that's where... DC, you going to? I will be going along with my party member, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I only ask us. I don't have nothing against party members splitting and doing different points, different point of roleplay. I just... Clarifying... If something happens, right. no one could say, I didn't give you the opportunity to make up your own mind. I do. Yeah, all, right. all right. All right, so you walk through, and who talks to him first? Um, I'm, 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 kind, of, I'm kind of talking. I'm kind of talking over here, because, you know, the face of the party, I'm trying to talk. Yes. Um, Mr. 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 Dwarf, make, make, it, make, make it a name, please. Oh, wait, wrong wall. Huh? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Ah, oh, man. 
him in this moment. He can't land on you either. So as he turns and ah, misses you. Uh, it's his trademark now. Throw up on people, but just miss. You try to, you try, you try to pick on me, yeah? Well, you, you, you talk to him, so he has to turn his head, and uh, he missed. Okay. What? I, that, I'm describing what happened. That's exactly what happened. He okay. missed. Okay. And he looks okay, at you Mr. and says, what can I help you with? Uh, can, I get, can I get your name, please? Well, he was saying Knackmore. Pleasure to meet you, Knackmore. I'm, I'm Anya, and uh, I, I, I heard you knew about a uh, traveling sage. Oh, yes, that. Yeah, yeah. They, do, you know uh, area, do you know the area that we last seen in? Push them up. Uh, and then, uh, and the man with the giant sc uh, scar across his face, and say, "Oh yes, that that person." They both laugh as they look at each other. Uh oh. they should have listened to their gut when uh, they said they should have walked away. Instead, they got pancaked. Well, well, do you know where they got pancaked? Uh, well. Uh, the alcohol could say, I can take you there. I have no problem. It'll, it'll cost you. you. Uh, well, how much will it cost us? Alcohol. Alcohol. Do you have any alcohol in the back? <laughs> Why would anybody have alcohol? You gotta go buy it. Okay, well, okay fine. Why well, buy me a drink? <laughs> Doors. Insufferable. Oh, okay. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I, I wouldn't mind paying you. Alright. So, uh, he would say, uh, we will go after the three days of the festivities. Take the opportunity. Well. Well, yeah. well, I guess we get some, I guess we get some R and R for now. Mm -hmm. well, he doesn't want to miss the celebration. It's free booze. Yeah, free booze. He, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't miss that. It's uh, not. Uh, Booze is very nice, my friend. Mr. Booze. So at the meantime, would y'all want to just do a time skip? Or is there yeah. like any other questions before then? Uh, I, I'm, I'm all good, actually. Uh, are you all good? Uh, so we're going to be traveling and that's what the time skip is for? A uh, skip oh, in the... the, the well, oh, first yeah, thing. yeah, to, to skip the party, because I mean... What am I going to do, like, put on a bunch of music and start clapping my hands and singing? Yeah, we might. No. Take me home. Country ho, take me warm to a place that's warm. Oh, my gosh. Uh, horrible. Right. But, yes. All right. Uh, that's the question. Are you okay with time skipping? The, or do you have any questions to ask before the time skip? Yeah, we can time skip if you want. That's fine. I'll allow it. All right. <laughs> Even though time travel is seen as witchcraft. Oh, oh, tricky, tricky. It's right. like the DM is gonna get killed. All right. So, uh, you would uh, well, I guess so. The general idea is the everybody praises the the rabbit. You know, gets the rabbit drunk. Uh, plays with its tail when it passes out for three days because it's funny and because uh, it's unique and fluffy. But they only do it when when the dra the rabbit is drunk because obviously the rabbit's gonna hate it, hate whoever, uh, touching its butt. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh y'all. Would been able to sleep in the the barracks, uh, boys with boys, girls with girls situation. No hanky panky. Well, well, the two was with the girls with the boys. It's kind of it's kind of weird, you know. The girls because the girls with little boys is about. It's kinda, it's yeah, they know. No one said anything about little boys. Calm down. They know. But, the girls, the, the girls look like boys. I'm saying. The yeah, the like girls boys. have beards and the men have beards too. They both got beards. So to y'all. I mean, I have a beard. <laughs> Yeah, but like, you'll go. Roko's character is weird, dude, because the girl's got beards and he's a girl. Yeah. Uh, this is funny. Anyways, so that's pretty much the general idea. 
Um, what would happen? The war drums, everybody singing, dancing, whatnot, playing drinking games. War drums. Yeah, war <laughs> drums. Yes, for days and days and days. Uh, then after which, uh, the next morning, I guess it'd be the fourth, fourth day. The fourth day. Uh, the next morning. Yeah, the next day, but the fourth day. Uh, the, uh, dwarf would be waiting outside the gates, uh, for the, uh, for party. Let me just close him up. Waiting for the party. Uh, yeah, yeah and, uh, okay. That's where we all gonna meet him, right? Question mark? Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna go outside and see him. Alright. I don't want to completely assume. Alright. Alright, so, as you know, when uh, regroup, and I'll have to figure out how much money you spend on uh, the alcoholic for gold, uh, on your gold, Roko. No, no, one, no more than one gold, or two gold. Right? Uh, some shit like that, yeah. Uh, so y'all would go as a group, the halfling, the minotaur, dragging the wagon, yeah. the alcoholic, and then y'all too. So, a party, of, a party of five. A party of five? Yes. Yeah. A party of five. Alright, so, as you would begin to slowly set off, off in the distance, a sandstorm begins to emerge and slamming over the area, taking visibility to only five feet in front of you. Oh. Well, we should probably, you know, pull, uh, hold it here and uh, hunker down into, into the storm box. Um, are we in a tight enclosed area? Yeah, we're, 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 we're in the wagon, I believe. Yeah. We should, we should hunker down and wait for this as well as we can. If, we, <coughs> if we're hunkering down for the night, uh, I do want to try to like step away to somewhat get some privacy and use uh the druid craft to see how long to see if the storm is going to be continuing for another 24 hours no it's only four hours but no didn't know that until now because you asked about the or user magic yeah so you would know it, the, it, it does not last 24 hours the uh the the entire trip uh, Anya is aggressively polishing her new gun. <laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be getting sandy. No. So would y'all travel after the four hours of the sandstorm? Yeah, that, that is the plan. We just hunker down for a bit, wait for the path, and then proceed forward. Man, y'all aren't adventurous like the other party. Grim, it'll be dumb to go through a storm. Hey, <laughs> we're, we're lost. you if you if Garfield medication and you were playing. You would have went through the storm. No, because they're dumb, man. They're they, dumb. That's why. They, were, they went through the storm in the past. And that's how they found the snake lizard people. Well, maybe they shouldn't. Mm. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, after the storm would pass and y'all would begin walking around the mountain to the right. Uh, y'all would come to a site. This map, yes, this map. You would uh, come to a site that there's four giant birds missing their feathers across their neck. It's the stench in the air would smell as a headless body uh, was dragged and spread it in its body like everywhere, body parts uh, next to the rocks of the mountain. Any questions? Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm coming. I'm, I'm really hard hard issues with uh internet right now. One second. All right. 
Yeah. Are you are you see Grim? You could you could have blacked out for like most of it. I said that y'all would find four birds with their necks missing feathers and that uh a giant's body missing a head uh drugged against rocks with body parts and I guess you could say clothing scattered across the sands leading well it's all leading to the rocks and birds are fighting over the pieces of this headless creature the stench is really bad oh, uh i guess i'll walk over to inspect the dead creature but i do want to try to walk closer to uh, to try not to spook the uh, birds away. Mm, so would that be acrobatics or would that be stealth? It, it can even be animal handling if you want it to be. True. I'll give that to you because of what you are. It's the multi-class. I mean, it that... should have, if, it, if it went acrobatics, I would have had bonuses, but I had, like, my chances of rolling an 18. <laughs> Part of the animal handling? DC? What's up? Was that, that was the animal handling? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to be walking up calmly so that way the birds can keep picking at the body. I mean, they're just eating. And just, I just want to look over the body, see what kind of creature it is. You would see a, the best that you can make out, a woman. Uh, uh, a, a giant's, a giant's body, but a woman. Uh, the alcoholic would, uh, tell you. That that was one of the creatures, uh, was killed, uh, by our adventurer party, uh, which also killed one of our members. So, a cyclops. With no hand. Um, oh, wow, I'll just, I'll just put out for a bit, because we'll wipe my shit. Ah, you got, I was saying that, uh, you come... You come to a bird with no neck feathers uh, oh, okay. to a scene where there's a woman. Now he knows it's a woman. A woman had decapitated and body parts and stuff dragged towards the mountain rocks. Uh -huh. And the alcoholic telling... Uh, DC that this was a cyclops that the party found, fought, and lost one of their members. So they Oh. No. Um. Hmm. Just, I, I stand over the body in reverence. And then I start going through any of its pockets or clothing to see what it potentially had on it. A loincloth, so you see, thank goodness it's always 18 plus, a bush. <laughs> is, is that really necessary, Graham? Is that yeah. really necessary? Yeah. Can yeah. you fucking explain a bush in detail? No. Uh -uh. It might be a tree bush. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> And you asked. You started looking. I mean, there you go. Right. Okay. That's, that's good. T TMI, man. TMI. Well, he asked, "Why did he find?" And he's looking on the body. No, I mean well, he, he's gonna get a mystery. He gets a mystery underneath the loin cloud. <laughs> mystery. God, it? nothing said like that, man. Come on. Well, then, then which is it? Which is better? Do we just roll a D20 to determine how big it is? No, I would hope not. 
But I mean, you. Yeah, that's the problem with me trying to determine how big it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not going to, by the way. Uh. Oh, I was thinking you're curious. All right. Well, okay. So, so she, so the the, the corpse is pretty. Yeah. How, how fresh is the corpse for you? Uh, it's, it's not fresh. It's already decomposing, but because of the smell, yeah. it attracted the birds. Okay. And you have to also understand oh. the sand would also be like mummifying it at the same time too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to pop a couple of the birds up, stupid. I want to pop a couple of the birds. You, oh my god. Okay. Good job. Yeah. This is why I like Roku. Okay. Let's go. You always... Yeah, you'll yeah. see. You'll see. So, yeah. Oh. I get two attacks, right? Yeah, I do. I get, because I got through the 13 blades. Alright, so that would be your surprise round. Uh, that's 12 and uh, 12. Which bird, though? And you said birds uh, is plural, you, so it's two uh, different birds. Yeah, two different birds, yeah. Which ones? Any. Uh, no, not any. I, 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 I can't see the map, so I don't, I don't know. Cause, uh, one, I two, three, or four. Which ones, which ones are farthest away from me? I guess one and two? Oh, she, oh, she won then. Oh, he said birds, plural, and they both hit. So you're hitting one and two? Yeah, one and two. Okay, I thought one missed. Okay, but one and two. No, they both hit. And this is why I'm laughing right. on the inside. All right, so roll your damage uh, separately. Okay. So, let's damage separately. Fines damage. Why is it? I, I say that because... Uh, it's because it's. I mean, one is a different creature. It's separately. One different creature. No. Yeah. All right, twenty-four. All right, so we'll say you kill both of them. And yeah. yeah. We'll just. What the hell is it? One. I can't really tell, but they're in red. In red, give me red. A red ally. Uh, so they're dead, and yeah. then as that happens, uh, we'll be top of initi initiative, uh, which would give DC, do you have the order written down for you? Oh, I have the order written down, that's what I'm saying, top of initiative, which would be okay. DC. And I can't describe the situation, what happens, because of, cause DC went first. Okay. Okay, so, what's happening? Well, well I'll, 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 I'll pop the one and two. Well, someone decided to play sport yeah, yeah. with yeah, so two, I'll, someone, because they're, they're big birds, you can't see. So someone decided to play sport oh, and kill oh, two okay. birds. Yeah. Oh, he killed two birds and it caused more to swarm? Uh, no, I don't know. I can't say that. Because again. Accessibility oh, shortcuts. Oh, hold on. Wrong button. Uh, I said you can't say that because you went first. So I, I can't say what's the circumstance now. Unless you want to find out what happens. I mean, he just killed the bird. So <laughs> there's no reason to, to do anything here. There's four birds. Unless, unless the enemy's getting the surprise round, is that is that what's happening? No, Rocco took the surprise round. Okay. Um, so, killed two birds. So the question. I mean, I have, uh -huh. I have no I have no reason to fear anything because I wasn't the threat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you let time pass for a moment, right? Question mark. Yes. Uh. Oh, I prepare myself. Ah. Oh. If, if, if more, if birds, even, if birds try to attack me, then I'll enter my visit, then I'll enter my astral visage. Which, so, which bird though? Three or four? Oh, just any bird. Can't you do any bird? Any bird. Anywhere. All I mean, right. I'm I'm a monk, so like I think I can I think I can prepare myself, battle ready to be surrounded by enemies. 
Uh, and we're what? I'm, I'm not gonna mention that. I'm not gonna mention that game. I just pop, I just pop myself in. Is he like he has something? Oh no. Also here. Yeah, wait. Oh, it's the wind. No, wait. Oh, that one. You're right there. Oh, okay, over there. Because that's what remember. Because the the game started with downhill, goes this way, and you're going uphill. Okay, okay, well, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my god! Oh, it's all, all right. good. It's all good. So, anyways. So, Roko, it is your turn, then. No, uh, pop two. Yeah. Oh, you butthole. All right, roll. Oh, wait, it's, it's my turn now, yeah? Yeah, because okay. he wants to, uh... Guess, guess, I'll, guess I'll finish all the other two, then. Oh, my gosh. Three and four. Miss hit? Ah, uh, they both hit. Wow, they both still hit. Wow, okay. There's just attacks flying all the way around me. Oh, okay, cool, 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 all right, so as this happens, the one bird yeah. just goes in a frantic. Oh, by the because I, I, I popped two more, right? No, wait, oh, wait, oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. This one. Yeah, this, this one. Three birds are dead. So you're down to number. You're down to this one. Okay. You, all right, so the bird goes frantic. So because yeah. of that, I need to check something. Mm -hmm. Option three. Oh man! All right, so because anything gets into anything. So what happens is, uh, opportunity attack if DC takes it. Question mark. Do you take it? Oh, uh, if it's an opportunity attack, then would my act? Then would my prepared action proc? Well, that was more for an action if the creature attacked you. I can't do anything to stop it, and I have to take the attack. Well, no, it's not attacking you. I'm saying an opportunity attack for you to, if you want to use your reaction. Oh, no, I have no reason to attack the creature. Alrighty, so, as that happens, the bird goes flying away. Flying. Speed, what's the speed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it goes 120 feet. So 120 feet, Rogo. And what's well, your... up, the, up in the air, yeah? Well, it, just 120 feet. That, that's all I'm getting at. Like, I don't, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't remember the how far the gun shoots. So. <laughs> remember Grim? I, I remember Grim. <laughs> Sorry, laughing. So let me add some feet to that. Hold on. Uh, 120 plus 25, so you're looking at 100, 145 feet distance from you. 145, okay. 145. Cool. We're just going to say that way just to make life easier. Uh, will you roll uh, an intimidation check real quick? Yeah, the, 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 the power was, was, was just trying to scare them away. With the gunshots, but guess guess we'll do more than that then. Well, it was for something else. Nineteen. All right, so let me roll this real quick. Uh, okay, so yeah, so as you would shoot them, the bird would go flying away just to make their life easier. So you would see these other birds; they were coming in a direction, like doing a little tornado, a tornado swirl, but. Because of all the loud noise and whatnot, they would also scatter. Yeah. And those, I'm pretty sure you can't get for Charlie, so. Yeah, well, what's it, what's, what's their distance? Oh, my gosh, what can you make life? Well, they were in the air for starters, and they are... And? Oh, it's shit. never good when there's an and. Yeah, no, there's and. 
I know for a fact. I know for a fact. It's not killed three though. I know for I know that for a fact. What's the range? But the range of the gun is two hundred. A short, a short range. Eight hundred is long range. Well, okay, so it'll be disadvantage. So you could, I guess, you could still keep shooting those birds if. Well, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm only finished off three. That's that's the goal here. Well, you already finished off three. Oh, I, th I thought I thought it wasn't dead yet. Okay. There's three dead. These look. He's red. You want me to? No, 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 no. Number three was it? I say number three. We'll finish off number three. Oh, number three. Okay. Yeah. He's had three left. I'm mm -hmm. not. They meant like three is the yeah. number. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Number three. My yeah, bad. yeah. I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So. You know, when it's all birds coming and then they fly away, one, and which would lead back to top of initiative, uh, DC. You, you can continue with the corpse, mate. I'm, I'm just cleaning up with the birds. I mean, if, if you just start shooting them down, I'll just walk, I'll just start walking over to collect the bodies. They're there's already. Like, there's, no reason to let the, there's no reason to let the body or the meat go to waste. Uh... Yeah, hunting as well. How, well, how he I... killed them all around you. He killed literally in front of you and around. One's be yeah, you know, one behind you. You notice, yeah. They got these fat holes in them. You know, like, like, giant fucking holes in them. Well, that yeah. number three is still alive. Yeah, yeah, but these. Yeah, but but uh, but but I'm about to finish off three of those. So it's no big, no big, no big. Yeah, so those three, you would uh, we'll get to that point then. Uh, I get something to be real, real cool. So yeah, shooting, shooting three. All right. Baby. Okay. Pew 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 pew. Right. Yeah, I think number three's dead. Yeah, so number three just zero, and then it's and like I'm, a meteor. I'm not shooting number four. I'm not shooting number five. Ah, uh, disadvantage. Oops, my bad. I do not, do not. Oh, it's all do good. Not, no, just want to no, you're right, you're right, bro. Yeah, four, 14 hit? Yes, that hits. Okay, 40 damage. Alright, let me put it like this. Uh, DC, are you okay with them just doing it real quick on one on one just to speed it up instead of me asking? No, it's alright, no, 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 it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I, 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 I only plan to kill uh, four, five birds today. Uh, five birds? I, I, I hope it doesn't come off disconcerting. It's just. My character, I've my character's a pacifist. I have no reason to like be aggressive. No, that's all good. Unless it's self defense. I just, oh, I, I only ask because that's one thing I I do is I ask because, like Vindication's character, he would chase the Cyclops and lead the party. And then like, uh, Garfield's character would do that at times, so that's the only reason why I ask oh. to speed it up. Oh. Um. But it's dealt with. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna head. Over, I'm gonna head over now and check out the the cause. What about your initiative? Because those two, those guys are fucked off. So with that in mind, so that would make another bird dead. So that will leave five mm -hmm. five birds dead. I can turn this one off and this one off. Uh, five birds dead. So, as uh, he would be messing with the animals, uh. Uh, so we'll roll. Uh, okay. Survival. Survival. Uh, just. Yeah, you roll a survival. And then, Roko, what are you trying to do? Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm checking out, I'm checking out the, the giant's body and, like, you know, look, uh, doing, the, doing kind of the same thing he did, like, looking over the positions, how they die, that kind of stuff, you know? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell by the dying part because, uh, the sand drew uh dried up most of the moisture. The yeah. there's holes all in the body, ripped skin. Uh you can tell that it was a woman due to the breast. But other yeah. than that it's uh it it's a, I mean it's a cyclops that slowly trying oh. to mummify, but it's also missing like fingers and toes and and their guts uh, no, and stuff. No oh. They were in loin cloths. I mean, yeah. that's still fabric we can use. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, no, I mean, I, I think Roko's looking for treasure, but it's loin cloths. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they kept, maybe they kept it in the prison wallet. You know, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'll, I'll see, I'll see the grass. Sorry, sorry for the noise. I wanted to kill the birds to make sure we have a better, have a better time examining the body. Uh. While he's cutting it, 
the bodies and uh, plugging them or whatever. Uh, what are you doing, Rook? Rook, hello. Kind of, kind of looking, 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 looking over some, some sort of blood trail, some sort of sea, uh, kind of, kind of, you know, proof that was combat here, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, the mountain, because I did yeah. my best to cover it up. But the yeah, mount, the... mountain from here to here is all fresh. Is as oh, okay. fresh can be. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll draw on, on, the, on the map to signify that. Yeah. It's all very clear right now. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I can. First, there you go. Yeah, like that. All of that is uh, rubble and chunks of the mountain just. If you're looking for the freshest, that's going to be your freshest due to the okay. alcoholic telling y'all. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, well, I, I guess I'm going to go, go looking around in the rubble for that, for that body then. Alright. Yeah. Then roll. Start digging. Yeah, I'll start, start digging. I've been working on the railroad. <laughs> Just digging all your graves. It reminds me of my childhood song. Oh my god. We will kill your wives and your children too. There will be no survivors when we are through. <laughs> what are you pillaging us through? Sorry about that. You good? Very, very creative song. Uh, I'll, I'll must commend you for that. Oh, roll your athletics. What, 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 athletics to start moving shit. Oh, athletics. He's rolling okay. survival for skinning and plucking and pulling out. Yeah, five. God, to to dog, up. you are a weak little brother. My brother, I, I'm a double strength. I have power. I have powerful build, but even I am also weak. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. I'm just glad we rolled survival. Yeah, you rolled survival on the big birds. The stinky big birds. Well, he beats me, right? He beats me. Uh, well, I don't think you'll have these kind of birds. Uh, we're the, vulture. the Yeah, the vulture. vultures. Yeah, vultures where you live. Oh, hear that? He says you live differently than him. He does. He lives in the city. I live in the country. I don't think big birds. Born in the country again. I was born in the countryside. Which one about? Yeah, but they all have vultures. There's difference between yeah. vultures and hawks and eagles. Damn, did you do a racism? No, I'm not doing it. Racism. <laughs> I'm asking. Racism. <laughs> uh, I'm asking a question, or not even asking a question. It's more of a statement. A statement is, no. they're not a, a vulture is not a hawk, or an eagle. Yeah, I know. All right. I know. But, but what's the long, long they said were next? They're like they're like turtles of the of the bird world. Kind of thing. <laughs> Turtle. Yeah, similar. Kind of uh, like long and tubular. You know. They're not turtles. They're just missing their neck hair for yeah, others. The neck is long and tubular, like turtle. <laughs> I hate it when I turtle head sometimes. Oh. So don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> In fact, if you think about it, I'm turtle heading right now. Oh. Don't say that. Oh. Alright, so as you start moving, you're just like, this is shit is not what I was expecting. Well, <laughs> that uh, monk over there is just, it's like, this is an easy job. What, what are y'all talking about? He's doing well. Could, could you be a dude and help me fish out the, the corpse of that sage? The corpse of the sage is over here. Well, yeah. that's that's what um, yeah. I'll, I'll men mentioned. You should you should go somewhere to put the, the, the rebel here, or somewhere around here. I guess. I mean, well, I you mean, have that easy, whole easy, area. Easy. You have that whole area to excavate to find the corpse. Yeah, so. no, no, it's, 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 a whole, it's a whole fucking cave in. So. Because it, it might be inside the cave as well, you know, who knows? Okay. So yeah. in the process of digging through the caves, um, can we, or can I make any kind of roll to see if they're just spotting you like, 
I don't know, can I, like, something to, like, track the body, I guess. Because I would think that in a cave that a dead body would start to stink, or there would be, like, a mound where it was buried, unless there was a caveman or something. Yeah, this, is, this is a caveman. No, it is a caveman. Oh. This is a caveman. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's time to start saying. just picking up rocks and slinging them. Uh -huh, let's see how good. For my strength is doubled. Let's see you. He man, this shit. He man. Just starts. <laughs> he's just picking up one rock at a time. With one like bas like gripping a basketball with one hand. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of trying to help, but. Well, it's more uh, like he, he doesn't finger, want to. Rocco doesn't want to break his finger now. Every time he touches, like, oh no, my finger now, no, never mind, no, no. I, I thought about it, but I don't want to break it now. That's fair. I also don't want to break a nail. <laughs> Some people don't make fun. Uh, <laughs> Only poor people break their nail. What are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> so, let's see that strength, sir. Me? Yes, you. Oh. Wow. Well, I'll survival. Oh, I can do survival. No, 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 no. Roko, was, I was telling him where that was. 18 was. I was telling Roko that, that 18 was survival. What? Oh, Haha, <laughs> What the hell? Is no one wanting to get their hands dirty? I mean, I'm obviously working at it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so apparently this is gonna have to be a group effort with the six. Uh oh, oh, no no, time hold time on. Alright, Mr. Alcoholic time, whatever. It's all good. Yeah, come on. Come it's, on mate. it's all good as long as he doesn't <laughs> I wish I was an alcoholic like that. Oh, uh, I'm dying right now. Wish him luck. Aha Group effort. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Right. Uh, well, I don't have to show you all the modifiers, so it's all good. So, it's like, well, obviously y'all are helping, so this is a group effort. A group, yeah, a group effort. Let me get his, I, what's up? I was, I was going to joke and say, can my rat provide the help action? <laughs> well, I mean, your rat can be looking through the ins and outs of cracks. Yeah, if, it can if it can squeeze in between any of the rocks to like help us point out which direction it is, buddy. Just roll the. What you call that? Maybe. Athletic, whatever the dex one is. Acrobatic. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yeah. Right. As long as you leveled up that character, and remember, you're good. Not S20, D20. My cat's literally saying, give me attention. I will sit on your keyboard if you don't. <laughs> your cat needed it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. I, I, go I, I'll put it like this. So, one of y'all can ro We'll just do it like this. We will roll a D... One y'all can roll a D7. That's how many days oh. it takes to figure this shit out on... Finding the smushed individual. Days? Fucking you know. Hey, y'all keep. Hey, first, y'all don't know exactly where to dig, and the mechanics of mining is takes for a long ass time. So if you land on a one. Alright. If you were to land on a one, that would hurt me more than it would actually hurt y'all. So. Be happy. Be happy. Alright. Don't worry, we'll roll high just for you, Daddy. Uh-huh. I'll go All right, so after t two days of digging and digging and digging, luckily somebody knows how to prep bird. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, Have you ever eaten crow? Because you're about to eat vulture. So, <laughs> this roll and investigation. Uh... Y'all can either roll it together or give the other one advantage. Let's like, roll the other guys because I got plus zero. <laughs> so, Man, guys would be so cool right now. 
my goodness. Do you uh do you have a better modifier than MGC? I have a plus one in my intelligence. So, so you can so we uh, real quick you can give him advantage or you can roll separate rolls. No, I'll, I'll give him advantage. I'll give him advantage because I'm fucking plus zero. I'm fucking 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 as y'all find the body in two days, y'all would find that sucker is just jacked up like something. And jacked up like a mofo. Yes, smushed, broken bones, a little yeah, more, okay. a more raunchier than the uh, than the mummified uh, cyclops. So the general mm-hmm. idea is. And this is where I have to either find your notes or character, or you have your character sheet. So, bro, you would find everything but the spell book, Roko. And huh. on this character. So, yeah. if I, there was, so, there was a magic item that was supposed to give you coffee. I remember that was one of the magic items. Yeah. You don't remember? I don't remember, yeah, the decanter the, the of endless coffee. Yes. Yeah. So, we. So there is a magic item, but there's no spell we book. Know that. We, we, we know that. No, I know. Okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll like, take everything off the body, the clothes, <laughs> stuff, money, whatever. Just, just take it out. Oh my gosh. Desecrating the care. body. Well, I, well, I, I don't care. It's, it's, a, it's a random body. Hold on. Do, okay, let's see. Then roll the roll wisdom. Let's see how much you don't care. <laughs> What, what's the what's the, the lower the what's lower it is, the more you don't care. The higher it is, obviously you care. Wisdom, say wisdom check. Not wisdom check. Wisdom check, go for plus one, right? <laughs> lower the better. Ah, see, so you do <laughs> care. You do care. Yeah, well, okay, well, I could do care a little bit then. Ah, right, there we go. So you do care. You're desecrating the body. Yeah, well, we're, t- we're taking the stuff. Where's tea bagging the body? Mm. Where's the desecration? I barely know her. All right, okay, let me uh, reset one of the timers on the streaming real quick. Hold on. What timers? The spoon one. The spoon only does two hours. Whoops. What? No, I just I had like two minutes. Sucks, I had two minutes left. So that's not good. I mean, it's nothing. See. Right. Damn it. I can get it off. It's not a stupid screen. Alright, so there it goes. Alright, good to go. Alright. So, uh, yeah, so you would find a, uh, I think it was a coffee mug or whatever. But it would, as you, uh, you would touch it and turn it sideways, you would, uh, see that it spills a, uh, brown liquid on the ground. That's weird. Um, I'll put I'll put a flask back on and put that put that in my pocket. I'll what else, um, I'll take take the clothes, wallet, whatever. You know? No clothes, no wallet. Yeah. All right. So okay, we can we we we, we can sell this and pull this off. Yeah. <laughs> so so much for being a stage though. There's no there's no fucking book on them. Uh, so do you ask why? Well, ask him, ask him the, the, uh, the, uh, oh. the yeah. I'll, I'll ask him, where, where's the book? Alright, so let's see if he remembers. Because even <laughs> I, I, I had to remember. Hey. Fucking out on it. Oh, <laughs> great. Hey, hey, bro. This is the scavenger hunt. Aha! Alright, so. Uh, he would uh, scratch his head. Think to himself. Take a swig. Look in the sky, look back down, kick the dirt, and then say, the holy knight must have picked it up. Well, I can't quite much about that, though. I, I guess we can keep, keep it up, whatever else we find on the body. That's all you say, is just like, oh, well, like... 
Yeah. Well, well how, how are we going to explain to the Holy Land to give, to give us, you know, a, a trinket from a corpse, right? Are you asking me or are you asking the, the character? Yeah, yeah, it, 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 oh no, I'm, I'm saying that, I'm saying that, it was just, do you, do you saying, oh, you're, oh, you're, 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 you're saying, oh, you know, uh, oh, it's kind of, you're no fun. I got you, though. Yeah, okay, it's well, a scavenger hunt now. You can't tell it's a scavenger hunt. Well, you can't tell. But. Okay. Just like just me, dude. Okay. Well, I guess. I, I guess it, it is going to just, you know, close money off that corpse. Yeah. And. I guess we can go now and, and, get, and, and give what. Uh, do you know where the, you know the, oh, the Holy Knight is? She would uh, tell you. Well, we should be uh, soak, soaking, soaking, well, crying. We're just going to use the word crying, but I'm thinking soaking is the fancier word. Uh, up on his village, he's also the last of his kind. Uh, oh, why didn't you come down to join, to join uh, that, the, village, the village we're at? Because he's, uh, let's say, uh, I don't want to say he's like repenting his sins, but he wants to die up there. Really? Huh. Full of, full of visiting a, a lonely, sad, holy night, Gra? Yeah, so I guess technically he wouldn't be holy, would he? <laughs> True, yeah, he's a little, little, little holy. Do you, you, you want to visit him, Gra? Paying uh, a courtesy check on, on this sad, sad night. Yes, while we are doing the courtesy check, it would, we could check on this night that is lonely. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think it would be I think it would be, it would be much of an issue. Hmm. So backtracking and then going forward. Yeah. All right. So the real question is, I guess, would be out of the game. Would you go back to the town, the town that y'all came from, or mm-hmm. like backwards, and then go forward up the mountain, or just go straight to the other mountain? What, what's faster? It's not the faster, it's how smart you are. Huh. Well, I, I, I guess we can go down, go back down, to, down, to, down to town, drop off what you found, and then go up to the night and come back. And, right? Uh, it'll be a smart thing to do, but I'll take longer, though. Okay. Do you see? Yeah, I see. What's up? Do you wanna? What do you what, what do you what do you reckon? Do, uh, stop by the, the city first, and then, and then go to see him. Or we're gonna go to see him first, and then go to the city. Uh, we are out here, and we have spent. Uh, we have spent quite a time just to return with a with the corpse of a magic user. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's not not much of a. So let's go. Let's go check on the lonely night. Oh, so a boat of one one. Very well. Let's go. Let's go see the, the lonely night then. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, players don't learn their lessons. No. It really, de- it really depends on how lonely he is. Mm. We, 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 we are that, and we'll be faster. Though. That's a simple question. What, what is faster? It's not the faster. This is the. This is what happened in the Dwarven campaign, and then the. Well, more... well, well, I, mean, I, I wouldn't know of any past campaigns. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Now we we have we we have faster faster would be would be less days on the road and you know less Russian spent if it was faster. Yes, technically, yeah. technically. But is smarter always better or faster always better? No, that's the question. Anyways, so we're gonna go through to the other mountain and skip town. Yeah. All right. Alright, so, after the days have passed and blah blah blah, real quick, uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to put them in, let me see, what map did I choose? Uh, did I upload it on this one? No, I didn't on this one. So, what I, this is what I'm gonna do. So, as y'all are preparing to leave, let me get you into my big bad boys real quick, so. Wait, the map. Well, there was something I wanted y'all to do, but I'm just gonna have to make it happen my way. Now, instead of naturally. 
to fit part of this half ass in incident. So, let's go with as where is it? 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 Which one? There we go. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, random people. Okay. That is not looking pleasant. Not very pleasant. It depends on who who speaks, says that. So you would begin to hear people. People. Is that the right word? You would hear two people talking, walking along the edge of the mountain and certain parts of it would echo uh and stuff yeah what what, what were they saying Grim? uh well this is the funny part uh they're looking for their birds the birds never seen them <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. I told you I was going to get you, Roko. What, random birds in the middle of the fucking wild? Uh, okay. okay, but they got to survive just like you do. One of them, man. No, no, whatever. Or so you would be like over here trying to leave. Yeah. Alright, that's the bounce. <laughs> so, the question is... Yeah, you got this. So the question is, because I'll just have them right here then. So the question is, what do y'all do after somebody is discussing where are their birds and they're looking for them and calling them? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> do you see? I mean, they wouldn't inherently know that we are the ones to kill the birds, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't ask me that. Uh, so, so let's go. So let's think of this as like, what is the one thing your Roko's is ditch? So yours is. I mean, I don't have like bird feathers sticking out of my mouth, so I would just continue to walk. Oh, he's walking. Like... You're walking then. Yeah. I mean, I I would just continue on my route. Like, if I gotta leave the party, I'll leave the party. No. Okay. Then put it like this. Are you walking? Are you running? Are you staying? With me? Which are going? Oh, what, what, what fucking going, man? I know that, but are you running or? Oh, well, he's walking, and you. Well, no, no, no. Casual, casual, casual pace. No, casual, no, casual, casual pace. Okay. All right. So, because yeah, obviously I can't make the map bigger. So as you would be walking away, the feathers would be lying. Now, where is it? Plucky, 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 all along the mountain. I wonder why. Yeah, why? Mm. Yeah, I wonder why. And then they would see y'all, and they would see the birds. Feathers. What birds? Feathers. <laughs> Oh, why did we incinerate the evidence? <laughs> <laughs> well, because y'all are the ones there with the, with the incident. I mean, who would not think that? All right. Well, that... How? What, 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 what do you think about it? Yeah? You, 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 went, you went to a bird and it flies away. How, how would they kill a bird without, without, without a raised weapon? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to drink something real quick. Oh, damn. All right. <coughs> uh, you laugh. Yes, I know you laugh. Uh, let me check something, let me check something, let me check something. Okay, so yeah, that's how it is. Alright, so, as you, uh, would begin walking away, the first one says stop. Vibrate and listen. Oh, oh man, look at that, Roko, see? Yeah, uh, I, I like this guy. <laughs> uh, what did what, 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 what say? Uh, I said stop, and then he's, he's, he says I agree to listen. And that's why I said, Roko, I like this guy. Okay. So you oh, oh, listen, I guess. Yeah, listen. Uh, so, the second oh, one. Flattery. Uh, flattery, huh? So then the second one says that that's awfully mm -hmm. strange for feathers to be on the ground. And then the first one says it must have been them. And the second one says, no, it could have been. 
Maybe they were fighting or mate mating and pulled some feathers out. And then the first one says, no, 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 no. This can't be. There's too many feathers. Grim, yes. Grim, I, I'm, going, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to put my hand, my, my, my gun behind my back, and I make it, I make it disappear. <laughs> then roll still. I don't, I don't, I don't need to, it just vanishes. Oh, yeah. proof. But you move in the gun first, and then it's vanishing. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't touch it. I just, I just make it disappear. Well, well, okay, then put it like this. Roll well, Mr. Delt, so I have a DC to see if they saw the gun. Oh, in general. Okay, okay, cool. In general, like, I don't know. It's, I need something oh. to go off of visual uh, aspects for stats. Yeah, but, but, but what were you looking for initially? No, but sometimes things catch people's eyes. Like what? A, a random wooden stick? <laughs> random wooden stick. That stick thing goes magical. Let me see. Oh no. I'm not gonna roll for it. I'm just looking at their passive. Yeah. Alright, passive, 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 passive. Alright, you got it. See? Was that hard? No. Alright. Mm. <laughs> so, the gun goes poop. And then, what do y'all do when they're discussing, but the, the first one is still watching y'all, and the second one just can't. Yeah. Can, can help you too. Is there, is there an issue? And I go, yes, we're looking for a pet bird. They're, they help us survive this wasteland. Guess, they, guess they're gone. Gone how? I, 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 I guess I flew away. <laughs> Tenekichu, by the way. <laughs> Tenekichu. Uh, flew which way? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll kind of point in like, like this direction. Alright. Yeah. Then roll with advantage on persuasion. Okay. Persuasion advantage. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Baby. I can just. Baby, when it's cold outside. Yeah. So you would sure. begin to see the first one turn his heels and body gesture towards that direction. Uh. D DC, do you have anything to ask or letting them walk? I mean, if they're just walking away from us, then it's fine. They're allowed to walk. I'll allow it. Ah, uh, okay. Roko, yes. so you just sent them on their death. Thank you, Roko. What, what are they doing then? They're just, they're just, uh, yes, they're walking uh, away. Okay, I'm, I'm, assu I'm assuming that I'm um, assuming they're done with us. Yeah, they're done with you. That's what that that, okay, that was right. the that was the back, encounter. Back to back home with it then. Back home with it. I didn't I didn't need to do anything drastic. No. I, yep. Uh, I I should hold up my hand and and they're gonna reappear to my hand. I put I put it back in his holster. Ah, uh, yes, bro. Yes. All right. So I mean, we can call it here, and then uh, I can yeah. figure out what. What's along the travel for the next game? Uh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I... Are you okay with that, DC? Yeah, we can call it here. My god. Uh, See? Y'all accomplished combat without having to do combat. This is what I like. Well, well I, was, I was thinking if they, if, if they, if they didn't get, did get onto us, uh, I, I could storm them. You're an ass. I mean, hey, so got onto us too. I have astral, I have astral visage, and I'm okay with self-defense. Self-defense. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but yes. You just like random pet birds out in the middle of nowhere. You know, what? You know <laughs> what? They just started using magic out here in the middle of the desert if they attacked us. But you have to look at it like this. What do you? What if the birds got loose? The birds what? What if the birds got loose? Got loose. Got loose. The dead birds got loose. I'm just asking. Oh, that's stupid. What? 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 Birds, yes, birds. the bird. What if the birds got loose? What? 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 Are they, what would they say? Oh yeah, they, 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 this woman shot me. Uh, you know. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. You're saying why would there be birds out in the middle of a desert and no one's around them? 
Maybe they yeah, don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, what do random vultures, by the way? No <laughs> comedy captain's pets. Vultures. Yeah, in the middle of the desert. Randomly. Because you know, that's... You know, see him, see him, yeah, yeah, through the wild dive, shoot him. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. I mean, it is fair. It is honest to me that... Yeah, it's, it's a it's a fair game. I mean, I'm, I mean, even even well, you could you could you could you could possibly say, oh, I thought it was a white animal. I shot it. So may I offer constructive criticism? Yeah, well, we can wrap it up first, and then or if you want to. Okay, wrap it up. Okay. Uh, so do you have anything to like tell anybody, audience? Oh yeah, uh, by G Fuel. Oh my gosh, you and G Fuel. Uh, DZ? What's up? Do you have anything you want to tell anybody? If anybody listens, when they listen. Yeah, cl- closing words, closing thoughts. Oh, closing thoughts. Oh, okay, yeah, because you're doing the recording, my bad. No, oh. good. Uh, no, no major cr- closing thoughts, just <laughs> critical thinking can sometimes get you out of a lot of difficult situations. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sometimes. Sometimes people will see danger in front of them and panic, but it's okay to think, you know, what if I just mind my business? <laughs> yeah, see, I'm more stronger than them. What are they going to do? Kill me? <laughs> yeah. And that's what we did. We, we, mind, we mind our business and we got out of it just fine. Oh, yes, yes. And we got to murder their pets. I mean, I mean, <laughs> eat dinner. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, yeah, exactly. see, murder pets and eat dinner. What can you ask for more? <laughs> We make a good team. Good That's team. what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. I'm glad I didn't kill you. <laughs> yeah. No. The, the game's not over yet. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. P- eating pets and killing them. One more, can you ask for? Buy G Fuel. All right. Well, have a good night, everyone, and hope to hear more from you. Bye. Good.